Tag, but I guess that, just that uh, ISO file was just a rough song. So I'm just gonna do Fight Night <laughs> Round Three. Gangsters, they get the feeling when they hear my song. They wanna touch you when it goes warm, but uh oh, we got the things loaded up. Feel free to check us out on YouTube. JJ to the Giants, you can go to our link uh, in our bio. I they wanna touch you when it. I may start like a playlist game. And the Aragon Ballroom for the hundreds in attendance. And round one is underway. Nice uppercut finds its home for Tony. Nice work. His corner wants to see a lot of combinations coming from Jones. You know, you almost get the feeling sometimes that Jones is just playing forward in there. He nails his opponents at will. He can anticipate every move they're going to make. It's as though he's fighting heavy backs with arms. Emulation's a little bit slow, but... Roy Jones Jr. has thrown a nice jab. When you see an opponent with his hands down like that, it doesn't necessarily mean that he's tired. He may be fast. Roy Jones Jr. is being patient, working behind the jab and looking for opening. Roy hits him with the jab and then follows it up with a left uppercut. It's hard to hit guys in the head that use this defensive style, so you really need to get them to drop their guards and attack to the body, then pound them to the head. Jab combo lands. Tony's eating a nice jab to the face. He makes solid contact with those two punches. so interesting to see the comeback of James Tony, and of course he was recently awarded with a Fighter of the Year. He's had a roller coaster career, still only four losses out of 71 bouts. Roy Jones Jr. has thrown a nice jab to the head. Ah, I keep messing with that haymaker. Gotta stop it. Depleting my, uh, my stamina. Open him up with a thunderous shot. Fight fans are loving it. Oh, what a strong uppercut. Savage triple shot combo. But Roy, Jones, Roy Jones game is very quick. So Nicely placed straight right left hook combination. Tony's really putting his boxing skills on display. Nice counter. Roy Jones with a good punch there. Tony can't feel well after getting clocked by those two punches. Roy Jones Jr. is taking it to him with his jab. He got tagged with two hard punches. Pop the jab, pop the jab. Loose jab lands for Jones. He's managed to get himself stuck on the ropes. Jones Jr. can't put jabs together any better than that. Only 10 seconds to go. Roy's putting some mustard behind those two punches. Ah, oh, come on. Roy Jones Jr. has proven his dominance with that thoroughly right, so one-sided round. That one for sure. Tony took quite a beating right, last round from what jab, you're seeing here. Let's see if he can really turn good things around. on the counter punches. I need him to be able to go back out there the next round and not have blood in his eye. I like what I saw out there. Let's focus on getting more of the same. You're looking good, son. Your friend across the ring isn't prepared for this fight, and you're making him look bad. Keep working your combos and looking to exploit this guy's wildness and lack of conditioning. Yeah, James Tony had a really bad issue. Round two is underway. 
Ouch, beat to the punch. <laughs> Amazing feint, got his opponent moving in the wrong direction and leaves him completely vulnerable to that crackling counter punch. Roy comes forward and lands a solid combo. Roy Jones flashed out with a well-placed triple shot flurry. Ah, get out of the way. Fast hands, fast wheels. That's the blueprint to a speed box. A volume of punches landed and oh, keeps his opponent oh. off. That's what like that. Throwing the jab, being patient, looking to create an opening. Roy Jones Jr. is able to score with a straight shot. I when I did that left hook. Puts the hook in his face. Using the jab effectively, always a great way to win rounds. Jab combo lands with precision. He's really displaying his counter-punching skills. He really went for that vein. Then he got tagged with a big punch as he left himself totally open. Roy Jones Jr.'s landed great punches to the body. They really add up over the course of the fight. Listen, I agree completely with the ref threatening to stop this fight. If he can't start protecting himself especially, he needs to defend himself or mount some kind of offense. Roy Jones Jr. is able to do some business with the jab. The Philly Shell is an elusive defensive style. You think you have a good opening to the head, and that shoulder rolls up to block it. The referee has warned that he's going to stop the fight. I do the same thing if we don't start seeing some defense from Tony. He throws one punch and then another. He sticks from the outside and lands a jab. Solid punches Ooh, landing down. there. Oh, he really got his attention with that one. Jab combo. Tony's got to be more careful or he'll be getting countered all day. He eats a straight shot to the head. Two strong jabs unleashed by Junior. If he can keep the jab going, he can look to control this bout. Let's see if anything happens here in the last 10 seconds. You could be catching him with this, this one. The bell sounds and the fighters turn that, towards their respective corners. This fight has been pretty even so far. Let's see if the replay of the last round can give us some insight as to... We need to get that nick cleaned up and get the blood out of his left eye. Relax. Breathe easy. And let's figure out how we're going to take this next round. Listen, we're up, but that cut around your eye is starting to get ugly. I want you to keep your hands up. Stay on the outside. Fox smart and look to land from the outside. Let's keep winning rounds and don't give your pal any opportunities to make that cut any worse. Mm. Oh, get it down, get it down, get it down. Mm. Mm. It's time go. for round number three. Keep from, uh, Here come the mind games from Tony. Tony doesn't want the ref stepping in like this. He wants to finish things on his own. Roy Jones Jr.'s corner wasn't really able to do much for his left eye. Ah, the ref left looks eye, like he's damn. keeping a close watch on it, and I think he might call this fight if that thing gets any worse. Great combo. Nice one-two for Jones. You can't just walk in and throw, because if you do, he's going to make you pay. He makes him look silly. Great counter punch from Roy Jones. Good jab by Roy Jones Jr. Oh, man, get off the ropes. Fast punches, great footwork. That's a speed style fighter out there. Some of the stats Jones has accumulated are just 
incredible. And how about this one? Did you know that he once had a four-year stretch in which not one single opponent was able to go to distance? What makes that Philly style so effective is the shoulder roll followed by a counter punch. Landed two jabs there. You can see that that punch may have really hurt. Nicely executed combo by Roy Jones Jr. He takes a straight shot there. A few hard jabs land for Jones. Very good combination there. His jab is effective. Tony has earned that nickname Lights Out. He's KO'd 42 opponents in 71 career fights. Tony connects hard with the uppercut, then comes behind it with a left hook. Oh, see that good pop. Come on, I'm trying to get him hit with those big punches, but just... Jab combo lands nicely. Frankly, I'm not impressed by Tony. He's doing a good job of drawing him in and then countering. He lands a solid two-punch combination. Down to the last 10 seconds of the round. I wonder how the judges will score such a close round. Let's review some of the action from I that close round. last round. Oh, your left eye don't look good. Let's get it cleaned up and get fixed. I know that round didn't go like we drew it up, but breathe in and shrug it off. You're not listening. He's making that cut on your left eye worse. Keep your guard up. Circle away from his right. Keep firing the jab. Look to land the one-two from long range, and don't mix it up with this guy on the inside. Welcome, everyone, to round number four. Sweeping left hand. Good right hand there following the quick jab. Roy Jones with a stiff jab and a straight right hand. Using the jab wisely and consistently. Good straight shot. Setting up with his jab. Two strong shots unleashed by Roy. Roy Jones got to learn how to throw a shot and get out of the way. Tremendous a left uppercut connects. Roy Jones in a bad way. I'm not sure he's fully aware of his surroundings. Let's see if he can hold on till the end of the round. A jab and falls up with another one. Tony's impressed a lot of people here tonight with that display of dominance. Oh, this fight had to end early to prevent possible injury. A clear match. Round number one. Good jab by Junior. Jab combo there. In recent years, Roy Jones Jr. has held that pound for pound title. Of course, that honor was first received to accommodate and reward superhuman abilities in the ring, regardless of the class. 
a tremendous a left uppercut connection. Yeah. He gets tagged as he was totally off guard after biting on that deftly executed bait. Great combo from Jones. That counter hook looks to do some damage. Oh, he looks a little unstable from the counter haymaker. That bait caught him off guard and left him wide open for the huge shot that followed. Tony didn't cover up well enough at the end of that exchange, and that's why he got hit. He got some leverage in that last right to the body. Stiff jab lands up top. Roy Jones Jr. is putting a two-punch combination together. Great counter. Right now, he just has it working for him. He paid the price for going for that faint as he had to eat a huge punch. Roy Jones Jr. landed a great hard shot to his opponent's head. Jones with a textbook two-punch combination. Oh! Hard uppercut to the body sets off a nice combination. Tony's taken advantage of that misstep and fired a shot of his own. He's going to need to do a better job of avoiding combinations like that one from Jones. Jones Jr. can't put jabs together any better than that. Roy Jones Jr.'s tried to jab upstairs. James Tony seems to have a little swelling near his right eye. He's tagging his face with the jab. Jones Jr.'s looking to be aggressive and throw combinations. Man, I'm get, trying to get tired. Loose jab lands for Jones. He's looking wobbly. His legs are really beginning to betray him now. One more solid combination, and he's going to be lying on the canvas. Got him. Come on. Right before the right before the bell hit. Let's have another look at that knockdown brought to you by Burger King. You do it, you get up, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here we go, just seconds away. I don't want any more blood dripping in that left eye. Pal, let's get it fixed up right now. Just like mm. that. Mm. I want you to stay relaxed and win mm. rounds just like that. This guy hits too mm. hard. So you can't let him give up for a big mm. shot. When you see him looking to throw a hard shot, I want you mm. to pop him with a quick, stiff jab. Then get him out of his rhythm. Then step to the side and hit mm. him again. Work the jab, frustrate mm. this guy, and let's beat him on the outside. Mm. 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 All right, nice. The bell sounds and round number two begins. Roy Jones Jr. is able to score with a straight shot. He lets two punches hit him hard. Lands one jab and then another. Lights out, taking two shots from his opponent. He throws a loose and easy jab, looking confident in there. Those two punches did some damage. To neutralize a guy's speed punches, you need to wear them out, sap that energy. Once those punches slow a fraction of a second, they're in trouble. Great technique exhibited by that two-punch combination. Nice combo started nice off with a digging that. hook to the head. His legs look weakened from that forceful haymaker off the counter. He definitely looks shaken up there. That was a huge haymaker off a successful counter. Boom, and that counter haymaker sent a shockwave from Tony. Uh. 
We're seeing a slick counter-punching style out there tonight. All the magic comes from that Philly shell defense. He makes solid contact there. Using the jabs wisely and consistently. Setting up with his jabs. Two good punches find their home. Impressive time haymaker from a counter sends him off balance. Give him a nice, nice shot. You got that round. You know, maybe it's got something to do with the way he was robbed in the 88 Olympics for Roy Jones, but he goes out and tries to win these bouts so decisively, he never wants to be screwed by the judges again. Two blows find their home. The referee is warned that he's going to stop the fight. I'd do the same thing if we don't start seeing some defense from Tony. He's receiving a warning from the referee, but he should be more concerned with his inability to defend himself. Nice work, lands a solid two-punch combo. Roy Jones Jr. with a stiff jab followed by a left hook. Pop the jab, pop the jab, pop the jab. Roy moves forward behind that jab combination. Only a few seconds still remaining in this round. Well-placed jab leads the big left hand. James Tony's proven his dominance with that thoroughly one-sided round. No question who won that last round. Look again at the tenacity from Tony. You can't have this fight stopped because of a cut. That wasn't your best round. Listen, we're up, but that cut around your eyes is starting to get ugly. I want you to keep your hands up, stay on the outside, box smart, and look to land from the outside. Let's keep winning rounds and don't give your pal any opportunities to make that cut any worse. Okay. He did a good job to get up after that knockdown. He's really showing the heart of a fighter. Nice punch. Always a good strategy to use that jab. Roy Jones trying to control the action by throwing combinations. Roy Jones with a nice uppercut. Jones Jr. has exploited a weakness in his opponent's defense and lands that combination. A few hard jabs land for Jones. Ouch, beat to the punch. He's really displaying his counter-punching skills. Beautiful clean jab finds its target. Man, that's a fun defensive style to watch. The fighter always looks so relaxed out there. Roy Jones with a jab followed by a big left uppercut. A few solid shots by Roy Jones Jr. He's using his opponent's on, aggressiveness dude. against him here. Two solid shots crash into his opponent. He's looking to take the initiative with that jab. You can't just walk in and throw, because if you do, he's going to make you pay. Tony was the clear winner oh, that round. Tony okay. took the lead, as you can... I can have the left eye. We need to come out strong in the next round. Relax and let's finish. And round four is underway. Stinging jab combo for Jones. Landed two jabs there. Roy Jones got to be having trouble seeing out of his left eye. It's nearly closed. He takes a shot square in the midsection. Oh, come on, dude. Tony waited for his opponent to come in and timed him beautifully. What a punch. He needs to let those punches go in flurries. What's the point of having all that speed if you don't use it? Jab combo. Tony's not looking very steady now. His balance seems to be off. He's looking really busted up. If he doesn't start taking immediate evasive action, one more good flurry from his opponent, and he's going to be... Oh, Tony crashes down as he gets close.
blocked by a hard hook. Got him. He ain't getting up from that one. One, two, three, four, five, oh, man, six, yeah, okay. seven. James Tony is going to have to gather himself if he wants to get back into the fight after that knockdown. Jab combo lands nicely. Boom! Hard counter lands beautifully by Tony. What a sensational combination! Three stinging punches by Roy Jones Jr. Jab leans, then the left hook. He doubled up on the jab. Beautiful jab finds its home. Two hard shots land in rapid succession. Get a gun jab again, right up the middle. You need to really look for those openings when your fighter is in that Philly shell defensive style. It's not easy, but they're there. He's going to need to do a better job of avoiding the jab combos like that one from Jones. Strategical use of the jab. He's in real trouble now. He's taking a truckload of punishment, and he looks like he just had about all he can take. One more big combination, and he's going to be on the canvas for sure. Excellent hard two-shot combo by Jones. He's looking to take it to him with an effective counter. Savage triple shot combo. Got him. Cut may have finished him off. Him. He hits up. the ground yet again. Let's take a look at that knockdown oh, brought to you by Burger King. One, two, three, four, five, six, right, seven, okay. eight, nine. <sighs> I don't want any more blood dripping in that left eye. Pal, let's get it fixed up right now. That was a good round for us. Relax and get your win back. Nice job. Great knockdown. Keep dishing it out to your friend across the ring like that, and we'll see how much heart this kid has got. You freaking gave that round away. Where's your head at? Kid, listen to me. He's got you on the ropes, but we can still bounce back. That bell means it's time to start the fifth round. He's using the jab to break down his opponent. Nice jab scores cleanly. Let's see how he reacts to that combo from Jones. Straight body blow. Setting him up with a few jabs. <laughs> Moving and punching is always an effective strategy for a guy that moves well and possesses that kind of speed. And the straight jab finds its home. Jabs with accuracy and speed. Two punch combination lands flush for Jones. Roy Jones Jr. is able to do some business with the jab. He puts together two nice shots. Oh. A stiff jab looks to get the action going. He's ready to go. One more solid combination, and he's going to be on his back with his eyes staring at the ceiling. His opponent was surprised by that big counter shot by Tony. Oh, walks right into that counter shot. Here he's showing his boxing skills by effective countering. The damage has really accumulated. He's about ready to collapse on his feet. 
One more solid combination and he's gonna fall. Roy Jones trying hard to hold on. He's not looking good. One more solid shot. James Tony struggles to hold on while he catches his breath. James Tony seems to shake that one off well. His legs are really holding up well, not a sign of wobbling. Roy Jones Jr. has thrown a nice jab. Oh, he's really in trouble now. If he eats one more good flurry, he could have his back on the canvas. Oh, and now a good counter punch from Roy Jones. Oh, Hard him. shot puts him on the canvas again. So I had him, I had him dizzy three times, and then now. Uh, Let's look at the Burger King knockdown replay cam. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's over. Jones plans to the crowd, and why not? He's got to be pleased with his knockout victory here tonight. Oh, so I was winning all the rounds with the exception of the third one. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this edition of the J&J &J Toy Giants Twitch stream. Be sure to follow us on Twitch and also follow us on YouTube. And of course, comment on any of our video submissions on Twitch, YouTube, X, Instagram, and Facebook and follow us on TikTok. And also join us on our Patreon page. If you guys go to our YouTube link tree, you'll find the link to our Patreon page. It is where you can get exclusive content. JJ Toy Giants, you get two months free. Uh, I'm sorry, you get the first two tiers are free. So you get a free month of trial of first and second tier. Thank you so very much, guys. We'll see you again for another retro game. Keep on. Man, ever since I went and bought the blend, I got my pinky right. I've been hearing fam, wanna box more the winky right. Cause when I'm on the block and I overhand the pinky tight.